In this video, we're going to discuss the solution for question eight on the practice midterm exam for calculus two, math 12, 20. Um, we are asked to set up the integral of the region bounded by y equals x squared and y equals x plus two. <clears throat> so we're looking for the area between the two curves. And one thing to notice here is that we're just trying to set up the integral. We're not actually going to evaluate it whatsoever. Now, when it comes to regions or areas like this, oftentimes it's useful to think of the picture, right? Um, so if we think of like our x and our y axis right here, um, let's graph these things. I'll do the parabola in blue. y equals x squared, this is just a standard parabola. We get something like the following. All right, and then we have the line y equals x plus 2. That's a line that would have a y-intercept of 2. Its slope is 1. So it's going to do something like this, right? Uh, that's in green there. And so we can see that the region that we're trying to describe appears to be this region right here. Um, of interest to us is going to be these intersection points, which we see here and here. So let's look for those real quick. So if we set x squared equal to x plus 2, um, this is a quadratic equation. I'll set it equal to 0. So we get x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. You could use the quadratic formula if you wanted to. But I bet that your professor is a nice fella who wants to give you ones that factor with integers, uh, intercepts there. Let's see if that happens. We want factors of negative 2 that add to negative 1. Not a lot of options for a prime number. Uh, so you're going to get x minus 2 on x plus 1. <coughs> And so this is going to give you, as your intercepts, x equals positive 2 and negative 1. And based upon my drawing here, that actually seems quite feasible, 2 uh, and negative 1 there. That's great. And so as we integrate this thing, we're going to integrate from these bounds. We're going to go from negative 2. Sorry, negative. I wrote negative 2 there. I didn't mean to. Aha, negative 1. Uh, we're going to integrate from negative 1. To 2, we're going to take the larger function, which is x plus 2, minus the smaller function, which in this case is x squared, dx. Now, I, I do ask you to simplify this. I mean, admittedly, I would accept this as correct. But if we were to simplify it, right, combine some like terms, you're going to end up with 2 plus x minus x squared, dx. And that this would give us the area between the two curves there. And so you're going to see on this one that oftentimes we have to find the places where the two curves intersect each other. And so that's a technique you want to practice for this test. Um, and one, some comments I want to make here is that when it comes to these definite integrals, things that I do need to see is you do need to have the correct function. That's something I'm going to scrutinize. You need to have the correct bounds. It needs to start and stop at the right place. And also, you need to have your differential. That dx is part of the integral. Without it, you wouldn't get full credit on this question. So make sure to put your differential there.